Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick, and of course we are getting, oh wait a minute, you're thinking it's back to school season? Well, it's already started the season for Oscar contenders. Yes, we haven't approached the Emmys yet, but it's already Oscar season. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm so excited. Anyway, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Why do you have a ball today? Because I don't have one of Monty's family with me. I forgot it. So I got, oh. I have a, I have a, you know, I have a Univision soccer ball. Wow. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, it is because they are. What's happening is the Republican Party has decided to swing to the. the they're going moderate. They're going to abandon their conservative roots in order to try. Well, as they say, we need to be more inclusive. We've got to get the demo, We've got to get those people that would never vote if hell froze over for us to vote for us. So we're going to dump all our conservative values, become moderate Democrats. And that will save the party. Well, no, because they basically are going to split the party up. It's just a, it's an absolute sense that the party is going to split. For the, the, the people are going to become the, the new Republicans and the old Republicans. It's happened before and it will happen again. The last time they did it, the Republican almost won the election. Uh, and the president doesn't think selling drugs to kids is a big deal. Oh, I know. Oh, well, he's gonna. They're they think they're gonna stop mandatory sentencing and make it a, a misdemeanor offense for drug dealing now, because the president. I remember in his book he said he dealt drugs for a couple of years. So, and uh, oh, that's right. That is the big news. In fact, I got so excited about talking about the butler, but that is the major big news. Yeah, they're gonna just stop prosecuting drug dealers now. They're going to basically send them to an outreach program to try to convince them of the bad things they're doing. There'll be no more mandatory third strikes. There'll be none of this stuff. And because, as they said, uh, uh, what was it? One of the one of the people for the White House said, "Well, there's too." One of the black guys said, "There's too many ends in in prison, and we're going to put a halt to this under this president." Well, so what's going to happen to like uh, the national the National ba uh, Baseball, the Baseball League. They're going to make it perfectly acceptable. I know, the and they're sitting there banning all these guys? They're going to, the bans are all going to come to an end because it's going to make it a civil penalty now and no longer a crime under Obama. And they said that uh, the Democrats have been waiting for this because, well, they think we can make a fortune off of selling drugs. Okay, here's the problem is, California thought they were going to make money. Uh, it's cheaper to buy it on the street. Colorado thought they were going to make money. It's cheaper to buy it on the street. All they do is the, they don't, if you buy it on the street, you don't have taxes. And since it's no longer going to be a crime, just a civil penalty, uh, yeah. and they're never going to put you in jail again for drug, uh, more. So, I mean, like one, I heard one of the people said last night, he said, yeah, let's wait until somebody sells one of his daughters something and see what the hell the man does. Uh. That's going to be a different story. So, Paula Dean got in trouble for the N-word, but the N-word's all over the butler. Oh, God, yeah, because, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, here's the problem with the butler. <coughs> the butler is a politically correct, incorrect movie. It's, gonna, it's got great performances, but it's, a, it's basically talking about a part of black history that black Americans don't want you to mention. Yeah, but this is what happened. It doesn't make any difference. I've, I've seen revisionist history being going on for years. I mean, okay, it got to the point where I really got tired when I was playing Indians because they say, okay, well, the people that are listed as American, that are really American Indians, please hold up their hand. They say, well, don't you, we know about you. I mean, the, well, okay, no, you're Italian, you know, uh, <laughs> and you're Spanish, you're not an Indian. Same thing. And the problem, folks, you've got a lot of Afro that are white, that are very light skinned. Mm -hmm. It just depends upon where you came from in Africa to start with. Mm -hmm. And Intel chief misled Congress on NSA spying. Now he's leading the program's review. Isn't that amazing? The person that lied to Congress is the person that's now in charge of making certain that they uh, that the rules are followed. Yeah, like, that's never going to happen. It's is that like the fox in charge of the hen house? That's what the Obama administration is doing. They're putting the very people that are lying in charge of things to cover things up more. But the problem is the Democrats are pissed about it. You have the libertarians that are pissed, the moderate Republicans that are pissed, and all of the Democrats except the, except the leadership of the party. The legal battle over gay marriage is not over in Pennsylvania. Well, no, because it, well, even though, here's the trick is, gay marriage has not been approved by vote in any single state. It's liberal legislatures that are approving it, and they all know Armageddon is coming because 
every one of them has basically put the thing off until like the next next national election, which is 214. Mm -hmm. But when it happens, I think what it is, 36 out of 36 elections gay rights have lost. 36 out of 36, every time it goes to the voters, because here's the problem. Mm -hmm. What set of illegal voters do not like gays? The mm -hmm. Latinos. Which set of legal voters do not like gays? The Afro-Americans. Who tends to come out more to vote at the regional elections? They do. Mm. And black lawyer group or just Florida governor to repeal Stand Your Ground. Uh, it's not going to happen because the Stand Your Ground thing was put out. Um, what it is is that Jesse Jackson right now is protesting. A, he's having a hunger strike about Stand Your Ground. So, um, Jesse they, Jackson is? Yeah, they said it is not going to be changed. Uh, we're going to try, you know, like I, I said this a zillion times. I have blonde hair, I have blue-green eyes, I tend to look very white. They do not let me go through gated communities to get to these short communities. As you know, you can go through the community and it's a shortcut, it cuts off like uh, five, six blocks to do it. Well, we don't allow that in our community. Do you know anybody here? No. Then you have no business here. That's the problem. If you're where you're not supposed to be, you generally get it even if you're white. Uh huh. And can Marco Rubio win back the Republican base? Not a chance in hell because Rubio isn't even going to get the nomination for the Republicans in Florida. Because he, the basic, oh, they blasted that guy this morning. All of the, all of the states that border, he, they said, when the hell was the last time that Rubio was living in a state that bordered the illegals coming in? He said Florida basically doesn't have an illegal population across the border. So he said every single border state has said the guy is a, he's, he's just a no entity as far as they're concerned. And immigration group twists Ryan's words. Ryan at no time said that if we stop illegal immigrants from coming in, it's going to hurt our industries in the state of Wisconsin. Uh, there's not a whole lot of illegals in Wisconsin. It tends to be very white and very middle class. Mm -hmm. And once dominant Blackberry eyes the oxen block. Yeah, they're talking, um, which is funny, we have a thing right now, I just got a sense this morning, that they're, they're having a teleconference on BlackBerry, which we're not attending, so. Oh. The, the head of the company is going to explain about why they're doing what they're doing. Isn't this kind of late? Yeah, well, that's all they do is try to explain. What they did was they created a, they had the market, they didn't do anything with the market, they lost the market, then they come out with a smartphone that didn't, wasn't compatible with any of the apps that are available. It's really sad. It's like you got to get those apps working otherwise. Yeah, it's all yeah. about apps today. And cash bonds for visas, UK migrant curb stirs anger. Well, yeah, because they're going to make it impossible. Only the wealthy are going to be able to get into England, England under the new system. And they want people with money to come in. They don't want people to come in. I, I, I love this. One of the people in England said, you know, we were complaining about Obama. He said, in our country, they came in, they come in illegally in our service. In your country, they come in illegally and become president. Uh, and new school year brings healthier meals, iPads for LAUSD students. We don't have any money, so they're going to, they're basically, they're using the Michelle Obama food plan, which the state of New York abandoned because the kids, the kids were taking the food, throwing it in a trash can, and they finally just stopped coming in to eat at all, and they figured that 60% of the kids that were not eating uh, didn't have any other meals to eat during the day except what they were getting to school, so they got rid of that plan. So guess what they're doing in Los Angeles? Mm -hmm. They're going to give you the same things that they wouldn't eat in New York and expect them to eat it here. Uh-huh. And Governor Meade will consider trade for a Teton land. Yeah, that's, that's not going to happen because uh, they, they never approve um, trading one set of ground for another ground with Indians. Oh, well, they don't? Nope. And Senate panel approves the 2014 defense spending bill. Yeah, and it, they're really unhappy because as the moderate Republicans who are running for Democrats all say the same thing. Well, it cuts too much from defense spending. Well, the problem is, is that it doesn't cut a dime from defense spending. That is the money that, this is the additions that they added on top of the budget before that is being trimmed by like 3%. Oh, it is? Yeah, so if you oh. increased it by 100%, cut it by 3%, you're still getting 9%. 7% increase, folks. And a Monty bubbles and from the Mark Twain of okay. the Animal Kingdom. Um, uh, when you tell a group that you need to support you for election to get lost, don't actually count on them to vote for you.